you noticed that literally every single form of anxiety and depression has been insanely on the rise over the past probably 10 years and it has gotten way worse with covid unfortunately i have been one of those people who is dealing with some real kind of anxiety and mine is in the form of ocd and i want to share with you something that has really changed the game for me in a very natural way now i know that we don't love to hear that we're going to have to put a little bit of work into something like this, but it is not something that is going to cost you any money and it is not something that you're going to have to go to the doctor and get some kind of pharmaceutical pill for, which is something that I really wanted to avoid. So over the last few months, I have been working on a little bit of a 2.0 version of myself to try to get rid of the RBF and just try to be a happier person. I've had a lot of things that have stared me in the face and have been tough, which I'm sure that you have, everybody has, I totally get it. But something that I kind of was scrolling upon because you know, our phones, um, at least my Audible account kind of knows what I'm looking for. They're creeping on us like no other. And what came up on my feed was this book and it's called Calm Your Mind with Food. And I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot. I have been pouring myself into all of the self-development things and I have completely been nerding out on all of it. So I'm excited to share with you what I have learned from this book on how you can relieve your stress and anxiety just by thinking about the foods that you put into your body. All right, let's talk about the mind-gut connection. So Dr. Madhu talks about how our gut health and our diet have a profound effect on our mental well-being. Now, I want you to stop for a minute and think about how powerful that is because you do have control over the foods that you put into your body. First brain, second brain. Second brain is your gut. It is a true thing. This is where everything connects to the first brain and you want these things to be besties, okay? You want them to get along. You want them to be sending great signals to one another, okay? Keep that in mind. So the relationship between the gut and the brain is very important because if the gut has any kind of inflammation, it will contribute to those neurotransmitters and the hippocampus that is in your brain that decides whether or not you're going to feel very anxious or feel depressed about certain things. If you can guess a big thing that she suggests to stay away from, which can be very difficult, it's difficult for me, it's difficult for all human beings, is any kind of processed food as much as possible. We have to avoid the processed food. They are crap. There's so much crap in there that is not good for you. So some of the foods to make sure that we are putting into our diet are those omega threes. And that's things like fatty fish, walnuts, um, black seeds, those types of things. So those kind of nutrients are going to be the nutrients that support the neurotransmitter functions and reduce that inflammation. And it will also promote relaxation, which is what we want. It's going to improve your reactions with other people. It's going to improve your overall well-being. Something that has made it really easy for me, here's a hot tip to be able to finally do this because trust me, I know how much easier it is to just go and get the processed foods is to think about the way that we as humans think about things. And we usually either will go on pain or pleasure. Like we are reaching for something that is painful that we want to stay away from or something that is very pleasurable that we want to get. Typically that pleasure thing probably has a lot to do with a lot of those processed food like who doesn't love some normal ice cream and cookies and all the things like that's definitely me. I love it. I, lo I have a huge sweet tooth and surprisingly this the past 30 days I have been able to get away from it. And I think it's because when you keep in mind the fact that when you put these bad foods into your body, your brain is going to get really pissed at your at your gut and 
things are just not going to turn out well for you, that's when you get that extra anxiety. And you know, this all plays into the way that we deal with certain kinds of diseases and things like that as well. Like it's going to be a lot stronger because what happens in your gut is if there's processed food in there, your gut basically treats it like it's a foreign substance and it doesn't know what to do with it. It's going to mess up your ability to detox and digest and get rid of it in a healthy way, which is originally the way that our bodies are designed to kind of take in the nutrients and then flush out the nutrients. That makes sense. So that's what I would suggest that you do if this is something that might be really hard for you is to just think about how all of those bad things are going to just make you like, you know, continue to have that resting bitch face. Like, cause that's what's really helped for me. I don't want to be that person. I want to be a good person. I want to be a kind person. I want to, um, you know, have a better focus every day for her getting things done. I want to be a better mom for my children. I want to be a better wife for my husband and a better friend and all of those things. So if you can keep at the forefront, that when you put that garbage into your body, it, like it literally is just like a dump, you know, where the, the the workers have went on strike and they're not going to go clean things up. It's just going to stay in your gut and just cause so many issues. I know this isn't rocket science, but if you continue to think of things this way, it might be something that is going to help you with that lasting change that is just going to help and it might be a situation where even if you're on them right now you might ha not have to resort to something like a pharmaceutical drug that i mean it might not be something that you want to stick to for the rest of your life regardless it's, it's totally okay you know to use those things and a lot of people need them but if there's a more natural way to deal with it sign me up and i hope that that's something that you would want to sign up for as well as far as this, this diet goes, so what Nadu really suggests is if you're having a tough time really like picking out all these things and you don't wanna go read the book, I would suggest getting on Pinterest and look up things like the Mediterranean diet because the foods that people eat in the Mediterranean are very beautiful looking plates. They're very aesthetic. It's going to be like green, yellow, red um, vegetables, and of course, fruit that is going to nourish your body. It's, it's not anything surprising, okay? These are the things that it would make sense that they are all very good like plant-based foods that are going to help nourish your body and make your brain happy, okay? And turn that frown upside down, okay? Get rid of the RBF, that's the whole goal here. My experience with this, okay, over the past 30 days, basically, I decided that I was going to make a change April 1st. It is May 1st today. Has been a very positive experience, okay? And she will talk about in her book how, you know, it's not necessarily an overnight change, but it is something that can make a change and has made a change with some of her patients in as little as a week. I have, I've lost, I think maybe eight or nine pounds and I, my body has improved when I go to do my workouts, which also is not something that I look at as like I have to do, even though I enjoy it. I know a lot of other people don't enjoy it, but that's another way for me to know that I am relieving some stress and really helping out the way that we're having a good connection with mind and body. So I've been able to see more changes in my body because I have been cleaning up my diet and all these things like there, it, like I said, it's not rocket science. Okay. It makes sense that when you put all these great, beautiful looking plant-based foods into your body, then it's going to make a difference. It is. Okay. Those are, it's going to be the main thing because it's not just beneficial for a person who wants to lose weight, but it's beneficial for for your brain and your overall well-being and like you got to get on board for that i did and it has been insanely helpful so i'm going to continue this little series about all the things that i'm learning about really cleaning up your diet to help with your mental and mental 
health and your well-being. So please stay tuned for that. This is kind of just a first part series of how this book and these ideas have truly helped to change my life. Um, and I and I don't want to say overnight, but in 30 days, that's pretty that's a pretty quick turnaround. And I have noticed a huge difference. So. I hope that you found this helpful. I found it extremely helpful. That's why I was so excited to share with you my findings and my results. And I will continue to share those things with you. If you are someone who wants to make sure that you're putting these things into practice and really become a true self-disciplined person, check out this video here because I have some tips there that will help you to finally like go forth and make these changes and have consistent changes that are going to change your life, like real life changing things. Okay. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you hit that little bell so you won't miss the next video. And if you are not subscribed, then like, what are you doing? Please subscribe. You should do it. I would. And I will see you in the next one. I love you. Thank you for watching and peace out.